Hi, this is Amy, and in this video, what we're going to look at is how to use Screencastify, the new closed captioning feature in Google Slides and Google Slides all at one time to make a professional looking video that also has closed captions. So we're going to learn a few new techniques here, and hopefully this will end up saving you time on videos where you need to add closed captions. So as you can see, I have got my slide presentation open. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start up Screencastify and I'm going to start recording. Now, in this particular instance, it doesn't matter what microphone I'm using um, because I'm doing kind of a mega ultra recording of my screen and of Screencastify while we do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and record my whole desktop with my presentation open here. And let me do just this application window where I've got this open. And I'm going to go ahead and start my recording. Once my recording has started, there I just got my 3, 2, 1 countdown. I'm going to go into presentation mode on my slides so that I can see my closed caption option. All right, here, here is my closed caption button that I see now in slides. So I'm going to turn those closed captions on by clicking that. And then you'll see that now when I speak, closed captions are automatically added to the bottom of my slide. So this is going to save you a little bit of time. Instead of going back to YouTube after you upload your video and adding in closed captions or correcting the automated closed captions that are there, you're going to be able to see what's happening with those captions while you're creating your video. And if you articulate and have a nice microphone that is close to your mouth or stick close to your computer, then it will do what it's doing for me and do a pretty great job of typing out everything that I say. Now, at this time, there's no way to go back and get this closed caption track later on, uh, but you will know that it's properly timed and it is on the slide where you want it to be. And you will also know what it's saying because you can actually see it while you're recording. All right, now that we have finished our little sample recording, what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause Screencastify, and then I'm going to exit out of my presentation, and then I'm going to go up and stop my Screencastify video. Now, if you have premium Screencastify, then you're going to be able to cut off that initial part that your viewer would see before you go into presentation mode. So I'll show you how to do that. If you don't have premium Screencastify and you want to get it, there's a lot of ways to get it for free. Check out any of the Fried Technology channels or the Screencastify Twitter account and you will see some different cool competitions that you can enter where you can get sometimes even up to a year of Screencastify free. So it's really worth it to keep an eye on that. All right, now our Screencastify video is open and what we wanna do now is we want to crop the video. We want to uh, make sure we're only getting the part of the screen that we want. So I'm gonna go to a place in the video where I see my video like I want it to be. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna find the beginning of the video. So the beginning is the part where I see my slides nice and big, but I don't see any of the surrounding stuff. Like right here, I've got all of the surrounding stuff. I don't want that. So I'm gonna move my cursor forward until I see my video looking like I want it to look. All right, so it looks like about 22 seconds is where I want my video to start. So I can move my scissors over to the 22 second mark and I'm going to save my edit. And now my video starts when my slide's nice and big and I don't see all that other stuff around it. Once I choose save edit, I'm going to wait for my video to be processed and then I'll show you how it looks when we start it at exactly the right moment. It looks pretty clean and pretty nice. So I actually downloaded the video that I made on Screencastify and popped it here into the video that you're watching so you can see um, how this video starts and how clean it looks. And hopefully you see the purpose of using this technique too. Thanks for watching today and I hope you learned something new and you have a great day. Bye-bye.